Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Thursday, February 13th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the 13th of February, it does not mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that um, this is a general reading, so this is not going to resonate with everyone, nor is the whole thing going to resonate with you. Most likely it won't. It'll most likely just be bits and pieces, but hey, it's also entirely possible that it might completely resonate with you. Who knows? But just keep in mind that this is a general reading. This is a reading for thousands of, potentially thousands of people. So don't even worry about it. Also, please try not to worry about the noise from the construction across the street. Um, I mean, I'm trying not to pay attention to it. There's literally nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. Um, but hey, some people enjoy it. Some people like hearing the fact that, you know, this building is being rebuilt and some people are like, oh my God, I can't stand it. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little annoyed with it, but whatever, it is what it is. So um, a few things that I want to touch on before we get into our pre-shuffle energies here. Um, for, it, I'm so sorry, guys. It was so quiet. It was so quiet up until the moment that I started recording. And, uh, sorry, I just, <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so what was I saying? Oh, first of all, um, I'm go I did, we did happy hour last night and with happy hour came a little bit of an unboxing. Um, I forgot to mention that I was gonna do it, the unboxing. Um, I went to the post office yesterday and I picked up one package and it ended up being more bracelets from Mama Kane. And I was not expecting that because when I heard from Mama Kane, I didn't think the package was gonna get to me until today, Thursday, but actually I got it yesterday. And so I was able to unbox some more bracelets. So go ahead and check out happy hour live stream from yesterday and you will see that, but so I got some new I got some new bracelets. One of them being this one that I'm wearing today. This one's called Blue. Oh, I don't have my light on. Oops, there we go. This one's called Blue Magic. I love this one. But and I got some other ones too. But I got a very special one from Maya, um Mama Kane's daughter who is 9 years old. She made this one for me and i absolutely love it she even included these moon charms that i absolutely love that mama kane made on uh, gave me on one of the first ones she gave me which actually was the first one she made unfortunately that one broke um but it was one of my favorites but maya made me this one and i absolutely love this one so shout out to you maya for this this is gorgeous i absolutely i mean i love these bracelets anyway but like the fact that my apparently Maya was like insistent on making me a bracelet and I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be more flattered, more honored, more touched than to wear exclusively wear Maya's bracelet here. Yes. So thank you so much, Maya. Thank you to you, Mama Kane. Also, I love you both so very much. Um, check Mama Kane out. Um, this is... Ooh. This is her business card here, if you want to give that a look. But then, oh, if only, if only, if only it would focus. There we go. There's her business card right there. This is her email address down here. If you uh, would like to um, send her an email, maybe order a bracelet from her, I highly recommend that you do so. You can also find her on Instagram at M O M M A underscore magic M A G I K. That's M O M M A underscore M A G I K. That's on Instagram. And actually, if you're following me on Instagram, um, then you will should look into my feed and you'll see the one post that has a bunch of bracelets on it. There is a link to Mama Magic or Mama Kane's um, Instagram page through that as well. Yeah. Um, also, speaking of Instagram, um, I did go live for the pregame show yesterday, 
and I was able to get that video um, edited last night before I went to bed and uploaded actually um, I just got to check on it and you know make sure it's all correct and put the links into the certain things other videos that I was talking about during that live session but that will be available for viewing today Thursday the 13th <laughs> oh my god um, Thursday the 13th it'll be viewed to be, be uh, available to watch today sometime this evening probably around 5 or 6 p.m. Um, just so that, you know, people have a chance to get out of work and whatnot and whatever. But if you guys, if you want it released earlier in the day, let me know. But I'm looking, thinking of, you know, publishing that around 5 or 6 p.m. this evening. Yeah? Um, yeah. That's it. Oh, oops. <laughs> you might have been hearing... <laughs> You might have been hearing some meditation music in the background, although I think I did mute it, but I was listening to meditation music this morning while I was like doing my yoga and setting up and meditating and all that, and I forgot to turn it off before I started the video. But anyway, I did mute the external stuff, but I guess, whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's get into the reading. Okay, so pre-shuffle energies are fairly interesting today. Um... I was just connecting with the with the collective. I'm like, all right, spirit, what do you want to talk about today? And the seven of swords came out. Um, and with the seven of swords, we had the nine of swords and the empress. Okay, and that that all came out at first. But when at first when it first happened, the empress's back was turned. And actually, both of these both of these cards were the, we were looking at the opposite side. Okay, but it was still the nine of swords and the empress. And I was like, all right, so what is this seven of swords about then? Because the seven of swords has been coming out quite a bit lately, um, and it's almost as if. What I was picking up on was someone was being deceitful. Someone was not tr showing their true feelings. Um, and in terms of, you know, the a feminine figure here or someone that's really embodying the Empress energy. Um, and I was feeling like this Empress was really, at least what I'm feeling now is this Empress individual, who, whomever this Empress is, this would be the person that embodies, if we're talking, if we're talking twin flames, if we're talking divine counterparts, if we're just talking a regular romantic relationship, this is at least someone that embodies strong Empress or divine quality, no, I'm sorry, divine feminine qualities. And if you're not a twin flame or you're not someone that really vibes with that whole situation, then you would be, and if this is you, if this is resonating with you, then you are that individual that is really on working, is really working on embodying the highest principles of what um, feminine energy would represent. And there's someone that's kind of watching you or at least is, is interested in you, would like to approach you, but because of this empress status, you know, there's anxiety, there's fear involved. And this could be fear from, that has built up from the past. You know, maybe you had some sort of circumstance with this person in the past and things didn't go too well, they didn't go to your liking. Um, ultimately though, a lot has changed if we are talking about a past person, but I didn't want to leave it. I didn't want to just leave it there. Okay. So I was like, okay, well, why is this seven of swords here? And of course, none other than the two of cups came out okay so everything that I, and, and it's the it's the daylight side of the two of cups so everything that i was picking up on about you know this being someone being really shy or really wanting to approach this empress energy was confirmed when the two of cups came out and of course it landed back on the empress with the nine of swords okay so someone <sighs> Someone really wants to reach out. Someone really wants to say something. And to be quite honest, uh, the only advice I guess I would have for this Empress energy here is just to hold your own. To stay patient is what I'm hearing. And I kind of feel like someone is really, someone is really coming to terms with some sort of bond, unique partnership is what I heard. Um, romantic in nature most likely although of course it doesn't absolutely have to be this is a general reading 
but someone is coming to terms with it. Someone is wrapping their head around it consciously. Um, it's just that they're not showing you. They may not really be trying to show anybody. They may be really keeping this to themselves, but ultimately this, I'm hearing this union, this bond, this relationship, this connection between the two of you is really, I'm getting burdening, um, affecting, weighing heavily, having a strong influence on someone. Um, and this, obviously, this would be on the masculine side. <clears throat> and to be quite honest, my gut instinct is to <laughs> clarify this Seven of Swords more, but I think we should just get on with the reading and see what, what else comes out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. We're going to, we going to do that, y'all. So let's, okay, so that's fine. And, it's, and it makes sense because with that Seven of Swords energy, that, that's been coming out for some time now. Um, and it hasn't been something that I've really been feeling is all too negative. It just feels like someone is not really sharing all of their true feelings right now. Um, and what I'm getting is that, to be quite honest, it's not absolutely necessary for them to do so. You know, you can't force somebody to do something then with, before they're ready to do it. You also can't force somebody to share their feelings or whatnot if they're really not trying to do that, if they're, especially if they're not comfortable with it. It is better to allow the person the time and the energy that they need to handle it on their own and to become comfortable with it. And then when the time is right, you know, one can express themselves. Okay. Oh, Lord. That is a whole lot of energy. interesting i'm not gonna take that i'm not gonna take that um i mean the king and the queen of swords did make itself known that was the nine of pentacles with the eight of cups the three of swords but it was the side of the three of swords where the flower was growing you could see the rebirth um and ooh, the tower now um with the hermit also um and then the knight of wands uh, Oh my God, they're telling me to take that message. What is that message though? Stay in your autonomy, all right? There is a rebirth that's happening here. The Nine of Pentacles energy is, is directed towards that Empress. The Knight of Wands would be the masculine coming forward. Um, the Eight of Cups is, it was the side with the child on it, getting back to your inner child, leaving things behind that no longer really serve you. This is really getting, there is definitely a sense of getting back to your sense of innocence here, okay? And I do feel like both counterparts, because when with that, with that, all of that that I just listed, the Queen of Swords was at the bottom of the deck, and right before all of that fell out, the King of Swords caught my eye. So it's like both of you are on this logical same page here, okay? Getting back to the truth of who you are, but you're doing this on an individual level and that is actually helping to bring you two together energetically. It's literally nav uh, gravitating, uh, pulling, magnetizing you two towards each other on an energetic level because you're 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 slowly getting back to the core of who you are your innocence your purity the your true essence um with like any of like the 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 external conditioning or the facade or the mask all of that being burned away washed away okay all right so there's that <laughs> Let's close, let's close this up here. And all right, let's see what else we've got for the rest of your message for today. Excuse me. Okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Thursday, February 13th, 2020.
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, giving us three shuffles here. Let's see what we've got. One. Two for the collective Thursday, February 13th, 2020. Three. Spirit just said one more. So I'm going to do one more. And that'll be four. Ooh, okay, that makes sense because 13 boils down to a four. Look at that. Ooh, no, 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 no. We're going to try that again. And the four of wands is on the top of the deck right now. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Okay. All right, cool. Let's see what we've got. What have we got for today? Thursday, February 13th. What do you want to discuss with us today, Spirit? What's What's on the agenda for today? Ooh. We're gonna we're gonna leave it there. Okay. Overall energy is the Ten of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, immediately what I'm getting from the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles is there is in fact an offer that's wanting to be made. Um, and it's becoming serious. Like it's really becoming serious. Like someone is really getting to the point where it's like, okay, I'm going to take that leap of faith here. Wow. But there are burdens involved with that. In some cases, the burdens involved are, um, the logistics of the situation. I mean, this could be financial, this could be business, this could be creative. You could be trying to launch a business. You could be trying to get investors and getting that too. Um, or this is an offer of commitment somehow. Um, and then, but there are burdens and some of the burdens could be like, like I said, uh, the logistics of making this happen moving forward, or it could be burdens from the past that are still weighing heavily on you. We do have this page of swords here. Spirit is saying, keep it upright. Okay. We have the magician with the hierophant and then we have judgment with the ace of cups. So yes, this definitely could be romantic, an offer of romance or creativity. I'm also getting a passion project, especially with that energy that came out with that eight of cups that just that like fell out while I was doing the pre-shuffle. And also that came out, I believe it was yesterday, of getting back to your inner child, getting back to your 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 purest form of your own essence and whatnot. Um, this ace of cups could absolutely represent some sort of passion project <clears throat> or something that really speaks to your heart, speaks to your soul. Okay, judgment here. I mean, you have the magician, the hierophant, and judgment. It's like there's almost there's an energy of falling in line with some sort of commitment. That's what I'm getting for some of you. For some of you, this really could be on the masculine side. For some of you, you're really being called towards some sort of spiritual path or some sort of expression of spirituality in your life. It doesn't have to look, I mean, of course, yes, okay, this is the Hierophant here. So it could look like religion. It could look like, you know, um, it could even, I mean, it could even be, and I'm just throwing this out there because it's a general reading, but it could even be like a cultist type thing or something. It might seem like you have to be in something rigid or something like that, but that's not necessarily the full um, case. That's not really what I'm getting here. What I'm getting is that whatever this form of or expression of spirituality is in your life, it doesn't have to look like anything specific. Spirit is not asking you to, 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 to follow anything like that. Spirit is just asking you or a, you're being called to get into some sort of spiritual expression in your life, however that looks for you. All right, and again, I know this is the Hierophant card, so I know that there's a lot of conformity, maybe even mind control that is involved with it, but that's really just not the energy that I'm getting here. You're just being called to some sort of spiritual path, some sort of spiritual commitment, some sort of commitment even. This could be relationship-wise, this could be marriage. You could want to get married, um, <clears throat> which is great. And so, okay. And that's what this, that's, that's what this Ace of Pentacles could be. I really do feel like we're speaking to the masculine here, but uh, take it as it resonates. This could be the masculine energy within you. Um, 
<clears throat> but sorry guys what i lost my train of thought oh this ace of pentacles here this is this could be that offer of commitment okay um and with the ten of wands here the logistics it's okay like oh wow this is going to take a lot there's a lot that needs to be handled there's a lot that needs to be planned blah 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 whatnot whatever i'm hearing there's a lot that needs to be certified that's interesting maybe someone needs to get certified maybe you want to have want to get married and you want a specific person to to be the officiator or something like that and they need to get certified maybe you want to offic uh, officiate to some sort of a, a marriage for someone and you got to get certified i mean hey who knows right but with this page of swords here also it's like um i'm hearing the logistics are being planned out you could also be watching someone or they could be watching you or you could be watching each other and to some extent this did come out in reverse spirit is saying it stays upright okay but when it came out when it, with it coming having come out in reverse i can't help but wonder if um someone really is like stalking or spying and and, and 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 doesn't want the other really doesn't want the other person to know but it's like something that they can't hide or it's something that you might be aware of anyway like you just you just feel it you might just pick up on it you may just know But if we're talking your divine counterpart here, I mean, let's be honest, you're probably watching them too, to a certain extent, right? Which is also why you would know that they're probably watching you too, because <laughs> you can just feel it from each other. And there's nothing wrong with it. And also what I got with the Page of Swords in reverse, it's like there's, there, is a, there also is an energy of coming out of hiding or coming out of some sort of spying type energy, working your way towards that. Okay, I'm also hearing some sort an expression of love could be coming soon. So that like with the page of swords in reverse there, it's like okay, I'm I'm coming out of hiding and I'm not going to just spy on you any longer or I'm not going to watch from the sidelines any longer. I'm I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to make this known and then I heard will you marry me? I mean, like someone is really trying to uh, get the confidence boost that is needed, uh, which is going to be coming through with from spirit here. I mean, someone is really planning planning something out, taking some making some, taking some sort of action, or at least trying to take some sort of action, working on taking some sort of action here. But there are a lot of burdens involved. There are a lot of, and that's the, the strongest thing I'm getting with this ten of wands is just the logistics. How do we make this happen? I'm hearing in a practical manner. Okay. All right. So let's get into some clarification here. And I definitely want to talk about this page of swords. What is this page of swords situation? Let's just clarify what this energy is. Last shuffle. Okay, Page of Swords. <laughs> we have High Virgo, the, <laughs> the Hermit is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, I mean, all right, so this, this the hermit being at the bottom of the deck could mean that you know someone is watching spying on someone else or watching someone else while doing some sort of inner soul work okay um it, i'm also getting an energy of with this with this hermit here it's like their their inner light or their inner true self um is really leading them towards is really leading someone this could be you this could be someone that you're connected to is really leading someone to re really like want to watch somebody want to want to get to know them want to understand a little better all right let's talk about this so let's look a little into deeper into this page of swords here what can we can you tell us about this page of swords what is this page of swords spirit uh oh okay 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 that makes sense temperance patience the Knight of Pentacles. Yep. More potential Virgo energy. And then we have Justice in Reverse. Okay. With the Eight of Wands. So 
Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Communication is desired. Communication is coming. This is all in service of justice here. There is an energy, and in, 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 in what I'm getting with justice specifically is this could really be a past situation, or this could be someone from your past. This could be your divine partner, your twin flame. This could just be someone also that... Um, you know you've you've dealt with in the past that maybe things didn't go so well okay and there is an element of needing to bring justice to the relationship to the situation needing to um balance the scales between the two of you or whatnot or in just in the situation as a whole however the reason why we have this page of swords here is because someone is fairly indecisive about how to handle this two of swords okay there's also an, an energy of trying to keep some sort of mental balance here four of swords two of swords it's like and, and i'm getting an energy of this might be one or both of you may be prone to or have a tendency to get a little volatile um, but that really could just be an effect of how extreme the situation may have been between the two of you in the past, or more if it if it if this involves more than two people. But there is a level, or there is an energy of wanting to keep balance, wanting to keep your mind right, not wanting to, uh, especially not wanting to screw this up this time. That's definitely what I'm getting here. Okay. Um, knight of pentacles and temperance so this is this is not something that you really can or want to rush into all right um and i feel the, the strongest thing that i'm feeling here this could be a masculine counterpart that is standing on the sidelines trying to figure out how to approach somebody and that takes us right back to the beginning of the reading when we had the empress with um, the Seven of Swords and then the Two of Cups and the Nine of Swords. It's like someone wants to, a masculine individual wants to approach the feminine somehow, but he or she doesn't know how to do it and is working on that. So they're standing, you're standing on the sidelines trying to figure out the best way forward, the best plan of action. For some of you, you may be trying to rely on your intuition and you may be working on connecting with your inner femininity in order to really start help you understand this individual that is embodying this empress energy. Oh, that's not out anymore. But that's embodying this empress energy, it's the ace of pentacles, right? Um, so that you could maybe approach them better. And I'm getting that from the Two of Swords here because the Two of Swords represent, it can be being blindfolded, not being able to see, but also that can represent using, relying on your intuition instead of your physical senses. This is a good energy. This is an honest energy. This feels very sincere. And if you are this person that's in this page of swords energy right now i really feel like the reason why you are keeping a distance is because you're trying to remain respectful in some way i just get a very honest and sincere energy from this and that's actually that's confirmed in this knight of pentacles here because this knight of pentacles is very chivalrous very respectful um you know, is very thorough, is also very much committed to whatever task he has in front of him, okay? And this is, and, and I don't want anyone to worry that justice is in reverse here. This is all in service of bringing greater justice. Great justice is in reverse here because it just has not, hasn't quite been achieved yet, okay? But that's the goal. That is the... I guess the intention. Okay, so now let's look at this. We're gonna look at the Magician, the Hierophant, Judgment, and the Ace of Cups. I'm gonna give this three shuffles. Then we'll see if we can, you know what? Yeah, let's do it this way. Do it this way. Okay. 
All right, let's see what we've got. Let's look a little deeper into this. The Magician, the Hierophant, Judgment, and the Ace of Cups. Let's see what else, what we, else we can get. What other information can we get about this here? For the collective. What does the collective need to know about this right now? This is just you have for the collective at this point. We have, oh, geez. We have the Ace of Wands and the Devil. <laughs> but with the Four of Wands. Wow. Yo, this devil energy is will not let up. The interesting part about the devil energy that I'm picking up on right now is this actually... There's actually a level of lust here. But I almost want to call it divine lust. It's weird. I'm trying to decipher this energy. The devil doesn't feel like the normal toxic. What I'm feeling from the devil right now is just, I want to call it like a soul contract. It's like you're, you're tied to this person. Um, you have this bond you know, you have this contract even with each other that you kind of can't. Oh, gosh, this is so weird. This is so, so very weird. I'm having trouble putting this devil energy into words. I've, I, I've heard someone describe it in this way before, but. And then with the Ace of Wands here, I'm just hearing you're tied to this. It's like you're. Ace of Wands, Four of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Four of Wands is representing stability for you. Um, it's also representing union. I'm hearing karmic ties. So, okay, you could be in an energy of really working on burning away the karmic ties in your life that keep you from moving forward with this. Okay, 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 I'm seeing it now. So with the Four of Wands energy, this is a spiritual foundation, right? This is you being in an air, in, in a time or a, a, an energetic space where it's like you're good, you're solid. So you can, in fact, start to accept more spirituality in your life here with this Hierophant energy, That's which is the Hierophant and judgment. That's really what this is asking of you. So with that, because of that, now you have the the fire excuse me, to burn away any sort of karmic ties, um, commitments that no longer serve you, um, all that good stuff. Okay, all right, cool. That makes a lot of sense. I want to see why the devil is here, but I want to get that directly from spirit. I want to, I want to, whatever else spirit can tell us okay whatever else spirit can tell us about the devil here and this ace of wands but this does feel like you know the first step i do feel like you have it's like you have the inspiration you have the wherewithal you have the like the gumption to like really start disconnecting from some of this karmic energy whatever this devil is okay in service of another relationship is what I did just here. Justice is at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. All right. So I want to get Spirit's advice here in terms of, uh, of dealing with this. Ace of Wands and the Devil. Because yesterday we did get the Devil with the Ace of Swords. And it's so like, okay, so at one point or at least yesterday in the, the journey, you had the wisdom and the knowledge, the understanding, the truth in order to cut yourself free from the devil. Now you're getting the spiritual fire or the inspiration or the, the drive to, to, to burn away, to release yourself from the devil energy. You may be even getting the faith or the confidence to really separate. And then at the same time, on the other hand, I'm getting an energy of being 
spirit keeps saying karmically tied. I just get this sense of being connected to someone that you just can't break away from. I can't, but, but spirit keeps saying it's karmic ties. So I guess that's not a good thing. It might be something that you really enjoy, but maybe it's not the best thing for you. That's a weird energy. I'm gonna give this one more shuffle. And then I just want spirits take on why the devil is here and what we can do about that. Okay. Why is the devil here spirit? Why is the devil here? Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. Overall energy is the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Okay. With that, we have the Nine of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Magician, the Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. So this... So for some of you, spirit keeps saying karmic ties. What I'm getting with this is that maybe you have some sort of karmic tie to a queen of wands. This could be the, the divine feminine. It could be the empress, or it could just be someone that's super seductive. And if this is if this is a karmic individual that's represented by the Queen of Wands, then I don't think this is that I I wouldn't think or I wouldn't say that this is all that healthy of a relationship, um, because that Queen of Wands kind of would feel a little bit manipulative to me. On the other hand, there could be some other individuals or karmic situations, situationships in your life that are causing you to align with this Queen of Wands. And if that's the case, then the Queen of Wands here is like more of the divine feminine type. Okay. What you have is the Three of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. The Three of Pentacles is an energy of entrepreneurship and teamwork and building a foundation, but it's also an energy of self mastery, really working on crafting yourself um, in a better way to to have a bit to have a to, to to embody a better version of yourself. Right. With the Seven of Wands here, there is an energy of holding boundaries. So this devil energy whatever this represents for you it could very well be karmic ties or karmic energies it's influencing you to better yourself and to set stronger boundaries okay and ultimately that is giving you a putting you in a position to manifest exactly what it is that you want in terms of what your heart's desire is or what your inner child your sense of inner and in, uh, innocence is leading you towards which would ultimately be a level of wish fulfillment and even what I'm getting from the Nine of Cups is there's a level of contentment here in getting away from this toxic, maybe even narcissistic or um, karmic energy. In some cases, this situation here, so I guess this is why I was picking up some sort of lustful energy because sure, you might have been aligning with a Queen of Wands, but it wasn't a healthy version of the Queen of Wands. It was toxic. It was narcissistic. It was manipulative. It was straight up lustful. It was manipulative, egoic, self-centered. But now you could be, in the essence, aligning with a true version, a healthy version, a balanced version of the Queen of Wands to potentially maybe even balance out your King of Wands. To align with your King of Wands, potentially. Okay, one last thing I want to look at before we get into our Oracle Guidance. I want to look at Justice in Reverse here. I want to see what Spirit has to say about this justice in reverse energy. I'm gonna give this three more shuffles. So what can you tell us about justice in reverse here, spirit? Please and thank you. All right. Justice in reverse. What can you tell us about that spirit? What do you want us to know about this justice in reverse here?
the star well would you look at that guys healing wish fulfillment i told you justice being in reverse is not a bad thing here okay it just has not come to fruition yet under overall energy is the nine of pentacles payoff is what i'm getting from the nine of pentacles here payoff for hard work well done especially for those of you that are in that are standing in this empress energy stay there all right stay in your receptive queen of wands energy be that healthy balanced and grounded queen of wands that magnetic that magical that sexy that vibrant that charismatic the the, the magnetic whatever just be that individual stand on your own two feet um, revel in your own accomplishments be strong be confident just be who you are and ultimately it's going to pay off for you even for the masculine out there you know that are in this page of swords energy that are watching from the sidelines that want to bring some sort of justice to the relationship to balance out the situation between two of you I mean, follow your intuition, follow your guidance, follow your heart, but also wish fulfillment, the star. It's coming, you guys. You got to have faith. You have got to, re you have to remain faithful. Hold your faith, stand your ground. I love that. That was a really great way to end this. Very reassuring, to be quite honest. And, and I will say that, you know, it does kind of get easier as, the, you know, as you go day by day and you just keep doing it, keep trucking along, keep plugging along. It's like eventually it just becomes second nature, right? Remaining in your faith, staying in your alignment. You have two cards of wish fulfillment here. You have the nine of cups and you have the star. With the nine of cups coming out with, with the devil and the ace of wands here. Okay, wow, there's more coming through now. Um, so... The Nine of Cups here kind of represents satiate, satiating yourself or pleasures of the flesh, gluttony, lust, greed, that kind of thing. Um, and there is definitely an energy, especially when I was speaking of, you know, the higher font judgment. It's like this, there's, there's, a, there's a certain level of a calling to someone to embrace some sort, some sort of form of spirituality on their path regardless of how it may look specifically for you oh i did i just realized the magician came out twice here <laughs> look at that but anyway um there is a level of there is an energy of being guided to accept some sort of spirituality on your path and that is causing someone here to place boundaries in terms of you know just going after what your ego may want rather than what your spirit asks for. So spirit wants, we'll say it this way, and this is a meme, some, one of my friends, someone that I follow, also a dear friend on Instagram, um, Michael, if you're watching, um, you posted this meme, but it was like, or no, this was, a, you, you posted a picture and then you posted a poem in the, in the, in the comp, in the, whatever. <laughs> but basically, ego is lustful, spirit wants love and it's that situation where it's like you are you're switching from feeding the ego to now starting to feed the spirit and so there is a level of self-mastery here three of pentacles and boundaries that are put in place between just like meaningless gratification for the moment versus ultimate wish fulfillment with the star okay beautiful absolutely beautiful let's get our oracle guidance and that is going to come from the fairy forest today Alrighty, here we go last shuffle here and then we will get your oracle and we will see what the fairies have for us today what do the fairies oh there it is right there okay um this is card number 30 and it is she who laughs humor 
perspective, mirth. Uh, I'm going to read this from the book, but already what I'm getting with this, it's like someone you're finding, you're able to find some sort of sense of humor here. Someone is. You're, it's like you're coming to a point where you, I'm hearing that you can look back on the past and just laugh. Or maybe you're needing to. Maybe you're needing to. Okay, let's read this. There is within your life now a great heaviness, an, earth, uh, an earnestness, and a sense of great gravity to nearly every situation unfolding. Yes, this is of great importance, and yes, there are consequences to consider. But this card has come to you because she who laughs wishes for you to receive the healing power of laughter, the power that lifts the darkness and realizes energy that is stagnant, cold, and heavy. I'm sorry, releases. Um, uh, let me read this again. But this card has come to you because she who laughs wishes for you to receive the healing power of laughter, the laughter that lifts darkness and releases energy that is stagnant, cold, and heavy from our energetic field, indeed from our limbs and our hearts. Uh, I'm sorry, from our limbs and cells and hearts. For you, this laughter is, a necessary, is as necessary as surgery at this moment as it will shake loose the cords strapping you tightly to burdens you no longer need to carry. Here are the, hold on guys, here are, because here are those burdens right here <laughs> with, oh look, the Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck again. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, but here is, here are those burdens right there. And you know, we've been talking about this for some time now, and especially if it's the masculine here, you have got to let yourself off the hook, guys, okay? Your past does not define you. Everything that happened in the past happened for a reason, all right? You don't have to hold yourself to it. You don't have to beat yourself up about that any longer. You can, in fact, forgive yourself. You need to forgive yourself. Even, and I'm not even going to say that, you know, what I will say, actually, is that the feminine, for the most part, the feminine has forgiven you and wants to forgive you. But you also need to forgive yourself here, okay? Okay for your own sake, not even just so you can come back together with your feminine if that's what you want, but for your own sake, like let yourself off the hook, bro. Shit, man. <laughs> okay. For you, this laughter is as necessary as surgery at this moment as it will shake loose the cords strapping you so tightly to burdens you no longer need to carry. Let the light break through and laugh as without laughter, there can be no perspective Without laughter, there can be no movement forward. Without laughter, there can be no sense of deep abiding resentment. Wait, oh, without laughter, there can be a sense of deep abiding resentment. Lift this, let she who laughs begin to help you seek out moments, people and situations that stir a sense of the ridiculousness within you and let the healing and the release of laughter roll through you and lift away the pain at the center of your being. It's time is passing. It will melt away with tears of laughter that fall and cleanse and free you from the past. For now, the sun breaks through and your eyes shine once again with mirth and joy. Welcome back to the world of delight, friend. It is time. Well, so there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, yeah, so look out for the Happy Hour pregame show to be released later on today. Um, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye.